June, I am not shouting. Oh, yes, you are. I should think the whole neighborhood can hear us arguing. I am not arguing. There isn't anything to argue about. Good. Then would you mind lowering your voice? There. Is that better? Yes. You see? There's no need to lose your temper. I am not losing my temper. I'm just very annoyed, that's all. I don't know how you could do it. At least not without asking me first. You know, sometimes, June, you, 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 you know, you, you can be selfish, thoughtless, inconsiderate, and, and just damn plain obstinate. And a very Merry Christmas to you too, darling. <laughs> June, if you wanted me to have a Merry Christmas, you wouldn't have invited your parents to come and stay with us. <laughs> Look, it's only for a few days. I don't know why you're so upset. Because it's Christmas, June, a time of peace and goodwill to all. Except them parents of yours. <laughs> Could I have a drink, please? Why? Why? Why should I spend Christmas with people I don't particularly want? My mother and father are not people. No, no, they're not. They're monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Frankenstein don't and... Don't you dare say anything about Mummy. That's it, the Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> I knew she reminded me of something. How can you keep on insulting my parents? They've always been very good to us. Why don't you like them? I never said I didn't like them. Oh. I ne never, never, no, I never said I didn't like them. Oh. It's just that, well, how can I put it? I, I can't stand the sight of them. <laughs> I mean, you'll have to put them off. Well, I can't do that. They've already said yes. Well, make up some excuse. I mean, tell them Lucy's had an accident. She hasn't. Well, there's still time. <laughs> I mean, tell them she's, she's getting over a bad case of sherry. <laughs> oh, look, Terry. They're my mother and father, and I happen to love them very much. And after all, I mean, you never know. They, they are getting on a bit, and they, well, they may not be with us next Christmas. They're not going to be with us this Christmas, are they? Please, no, 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 please, no, no, no. I don't want to talk about any more. Let's change the subject. Any more cards? Yes, these came today. Hmm? Good Lord. Who the hell's Angela Haywood? Yes, I wondered that myself. Well, isn't she one of your friends? No, no, no. That one was addressed to you. But, um, somebody's opened it. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. But I did write opened in error on the envelope and signed it. <laughs> oh, good, good. Good heavens, it's Angela Vickers that was. <laughs> was what, dear? Well, when I say Angela Vickers that was, I mean, she was, well, I mean, she used to be... I mean, she's not now. I mean, she's married. <laughs> Fancy that. Mm, you always did. <laughs> I never thought she'd get married. Still, I suppose it's about the only new thing she hadn't tried. <laughs> God, listen to this. God. Jingle, jingle, go the bells. All up the hills and down the dells. The robins hopping in the snow. It's Christmas and he seems to know. Oh, what a load of jingle bells. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what Pam Ayres is doing these days. <laughs> oh, now here's a lovely card. Oh, very tasteful and obviously very expensive. Now, that, that's what I call a Christmas card. I bet you won't find any of those silly words of greeting inside this one. I guess you will love from your mother and father. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it, darling. I'll stick it behind the clock. Well, you'll only have to fish it out again when they come. They are not coming. Christmas may be, but they are not. I'm going to have another drink. What about you? No, thank you. What do you make the time? About ten past six. Mm, that's what I make it, too. Uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. She's early. Can <laughs> <laughs> I come in? Yes, dear, we were expecting you. Oh, for me? <laughs> Terry, you're getting me into bad habits, dear. <laughs> come and sit down, dear. Well, only a few more shopping days to Christmas. Oh, oh Lucy, uh, did you manage to get that loan from the Building Society? Loan? Dear, what loan? Well, the one you're going to need to buy my Christmas present this year. <laughs> oh, you mustn't tease her, Terry. You know Lucy has to manage on a fixed income. Well, of course it's fixed. God, well, I mean, it doesn't get a chance to go anywhere, does it? I mean, she doesn't pay any rent. I mean, she's fed and watered. Or well, perhaps I should say fed and shedded. <laughs> Heated and lit, mainly by Sherry. Free transport, free prescription, and half price at the cinema. God, well, I mean, she's better off than the Arabs. <laughs> the Arabs? Yes, the Arabs. Well, I mean, she's struck oil here, all right. Oh, well, I must get on with my knitting. I'm making all my Christmas presents this year. Ah, good for you. That's what I always say. Christmas is a time for giving. That's right. So what are you giving me? <laughs> oh, I'll think of something. 
I can't think what to give Susie, though. Now, what can you give a 20-year-old girl like her? Well, knowing Susan, a 20-year-old boy. <laughs> what are you giving her, Terry? Well, she said she wanted something in khaki. I don't know if that means I'm going to go soliciting in Chelsea Barracks. <laughs> now, what about Debbie? Well, she's easy. A year's subscription to Pravda, a complete set of protest badges, and a nice piece of Wedgwood Ben. <laughs> oh, now, darling. It is Christmas. Don't go looking for trouble the minute Debbie comes home. I'm surprised she bothers to come home, Mum. I mean, she doesn't believe in Christmas. Of course she does. She does. She does, oh, she does, she does. not. I mean, what did she say it was? It was uh, uh, a gross manipulation of the masses by the capitalist-controlled media, duping them into buying shoddy goods at impri inflated prices. Did Debbie actually say that? No, she wrote it in my Christmas card last year. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she didn't mean it. Perhaps she got it out of a cracker. Get on with your knitting, Lucy. <laughs> oh, what are you knitting? What is it? Your Manchester United hat? <laughs> Lucy Looms, OK? I <laughs> like it. Well, that depends. Depends on what, well, dear? Whether it's for me or not. Oh, of course it's not for you. Oh, in that case, it's lovely. <laughs> it's a tea cosy. I'm making it for Grace. Who? My sister. Oh, her. Uh... Uh, June's mother. Yes, I know. There's no need to be reminding me. Thank you. And I'm making a muffler for Charles. Mm, you should have made it the other way around. She's the one who needs to be muffled. <laughs> <laughs> Won't it be nice having them here for Christmas? Lucy, I don't know how to tell you this, but it doesn't look as if they'll be coming after all. Oh, dear. Is there something the matter with them? Yes, everything. <laughs> Our Lord and Master feels that at a time of peace and goodwill, there shouldn't be any disruptive influences around. Oh. Is uh, Terry going away for Christmas, sir? Eh? <laughs> I'll drink to that. Terry. Yeah? Come, landlord. Fill the flowing bowl. Good heavens, another drink? Thank you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of these days, Lucy, you'll be carried out of here in a crate. Non-returnable, of course. <laughs> Darling, do you remember saying once how nice it would be to go away for Christmas? Yeah. Well, why don't you? But me? Go away, that's charming. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like me to emigrate. Hmm. Um, June? Yes, dear? Didn't you hear what I said? Yes, dear. Well, Australia's got a very good climate and they're always no, June, looking for people. June. And then there's Canada or Africa. Now, that's enough yes, of that. Marvelous. That is They've quite enough of that. that. Quite enough of that. Anyway, <laughs> talking to Canada, Lucy's more the sort of person they want there. Lucy, why? Well, you've seen their advertising. Drink Canada dry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I was going to emigrate. I would go to somewhere more exotic, one of those eastern places where you could have as, as, have as many wives as you like. Oh, yes, darling. And just think, you could invite all their mothers-in-law for Christmas. <laughs> When's supper? As soon as I've done the potatoes. I've already done them, dear. Well, oh, thank you, Lucy. What would we do without you? Celebrate. <laughs> what, what's, uh, what's for supper, anyway? Liver and bacon. You know I don't like liver. Oh, dear. There's no more whiskey. I don't like liver. There's no more whiskey. What, what's on television? Happy Ever After. God, blimey, it's just not my day, is it? Lie there then. And keep still. Oh, it's no good. I can't sleep. Hold your breath then. <laughs> Don't see what good that'll do. Don't you? Depends how long you hold it for. <laughs> You're not being very helpful. Sheep. I've done that. Count them again. It doesn't work. What else is there? Drink a glass of water upside down. <laughs> that's for hiccups. Yeah. Put a bunch of keys. No, on. that's for nosebleed. <laughs> you know, you're just saying anything. You don't really care. No. 
<laughs> Perhaps I should get something to drink. Horlicks. Father? <laughs> Maybe a glass of whiskey and milk, or... Oh, no, the whiskey's all gone. Maybe I should open the window or go for a walk. Have you got any more suggestions? No. We'll go to sleep. I can't. <sighs> of course, I know why. Oh, that's all right, then. It's because I'm upset. Upset? Who's upset you? <laughs> Who usually upsets me? It wasn't Lucy, was it? <laughs> no. Lucy's upset as well. Well, who else could it be? <sighs> it wasn't me, was it? Was it something I said? <laughs> ah, I didn't really mean she should be carried out in a crate. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't Lucy. It, it, it was Mummy and Daddy. Oh, they can be carried out in a crate any time. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I'm getting up. Oh, what for? To go to bed. But you were in bed. Hmm? Yes, with you. What? And now I'm going to another room where I can be on my own. Well, what was about June, June? You should be happy. It'll soon be Christmas. That's the whole point. What sort of a Christmas do you think my parents are going to have away from me and Lucy and the children? They are their grandchildren, you know, and they'll be all alone in that great big house. They'll have the horses, Jill. <laughs> Just wait until you're a grandfather and you'll see how you feel if Debbie or Susan's husbands don't want you around. You wouldn't like it, would you? Well, I... Oh, you know you wouldn't. Now, now you, you just think about it. <laughs> all right, let them come. Have, you, have it your own way. Let them come. Let them all come. Your mother and father, the horses, the whole blooming farm. <laughs> Darling, do you really mean it? Yes, of course. <sighs> oh, good. Well, come on. Let's get back to bed. Mm. I'm sure I can go to sleep now. <laughs> oh, thank you, darling. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I do wish they'd hurry up. I've put the kettle off twice already. Oh, don't worry, Mum. The traffic's always bad on Christmas Eve. Mm. And Charles isn't used to driving in London. Who's Angela Haywood? You better ask your father, dear. I think it's someone who was nearly your mother. Well, I'm <laughs> glad she wasn't, Mummy. <laughs> Thank you, darling. So am I. Trust Dad. I bet he was a great one for sleeping around. He still is. Look at him now. <laughs> Come on, Daddy, wake oh. up. Oh, oh, what's the matter? Have they arrived? No, not yet. Uh, where's my tea? Well, you'll have to wait, darling. They're not here yet. Well, they're late. Yes, I know. I hope nothing's happened to them. No, uh, of course it hasn't. June, put that tea on, and quickly, before your mother arrives with yet another pot of that revolting damson jam of hers. I wonder which car they'll come in. Oh, let's hope it's the Range Rover. Oh, the Mini'd be much more sensible. Oh, don't be silly. They couldn't get all our presents in that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they need all those cars? I don't think anybody should have more than one. Well, here we go. The voice of the people. Well, it's true. Nothing will ever be right in the world until there's a complete redistribution of wealth. We've got that already. It's called Christmas. <laughs> Look, Dad. In a viable egalitarian society, it's a Now, now listen, Debbie. Listen, Debbie. We didn't spend all that money on your education to have your head filled with this stuff and nonsense. Uh, as regards your vegetarian society, <laughs> I want to tell you this. What, 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 what are you laughing it's at? It's your own education, Dad. It's egalitarian. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was Church of England. <laughs> <laughs> The colonel, the colonel. Well, June, June, why did your father have to call himself a colonel? Because he is one. It was one. Hasn't he noticed the war finished 30 years ago? He's always been known as the colonel. Oh, born one, was he? Terry, you're just being difficult. 
Charles did have a very successful war record. That was Vera Lindia. <laughs> anyway, I'm not calling Colonel now. I mean, uh, her. I mean, we're, we're at peace. Oh, not in this house, we're not. <laughs> Honestly, darling, it's none of your business. If my father wants to call himself Colonel, he's perfectly entitled to. Well, I think it's silly and pretentious. I don't expect people to call me ordinary Seaman Fletcher. <laughs> <laughs> no, dear. No. Well, I'm going back to sleep. Let me know when the invasion starts. Oh, that does look pretty, Lucy. You do so many clever things. Oh, not as much as I used to, dear. It's my hands, you know. They're a bit rheumatic -y. Mm, That's what comes of having them round a glass. So <laughs> this looks like them. Yes, here they are. Oh, come on, Debbie. Let's go out and give them a nice world yes, tour. Yeah, what about a 21-gun salute at point-blank range? <laughs> oh, Terry, please. Don't worry, don't worry. I shall be my normal, natural self. Oh, promise me you won't. <laughs> Come on, Lucy, your sister's arrived. Chatty, chatty, bang, bang. <laughs> now, Terry, dear, just a little word of advice. What? If I were you, I'd do my best to be more friendly towards Grace and the Colonel. Why, what have they ever done for me? Ah, well, now, that isn't the point. It's what they might do in the future. What are you talking about? Well, June is their only child, and they're both very fond of her. Well, I know that. They are rather well off, dear. And I'm sure you're not half such a fool as you look. <laughs> you mean I might cop, uh, well, <laughs> June, we, but we might cop, they, they might bang after the third day. <laughs> you mean there could be a redistribution of wealth? <laughs> yes. You wouldn't like it all to go to a rest home for aged horses, would you? Lucy, love, I'll bung an extra sherry your way tonight. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, it, but I told Charles to turn left at the roundabout, but he wasn't listening to me. He never does, you know. And so, of course, we found ourselves halfway to Windsor before we could turn back. Oh, aren't these motorways dreadful? Grace, Grace, do we... shut up. Oh, Grace, dear. Oh, <laughs> dear Lucy, how nice to see you. You're looking well. Are they looking after you properly? I hope you have a lot of good, fresh food to eat. Charles and I won't Never touch anything. Never mind that and... now. Oh, oh, hello, Charles, Lucy, and dear. Where's Terry? Here, you? here I am, and there you are. <laughs> good evening, Colonel, sir. How nice of you to come. Shocking journey, was it? Oh, do let me take that from you. What are the girls thinking of? You're not carrying your bag. Mummy. <laughs> oh, Mummy. <laughs> You look younger every time I see you. I repeat, where's Terry? <laughs> Susan, take them back upstairs. Uh, by the way, we've put you in our bedroom. Oh, oh, no, 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 no argument, please. I won't, I won't hear a word of argument. No, I told you, I insisted. I said your parents must have our bedroom. After all, we don't see them often enough. Pinch me, darling, will you? I think I must be dreaming. <laughs> is, is that all the luggage? Uh, bring, uh, Debbie, bring everything in. There isn't anything else. Uh, there isn't? No, we didn't bother to bring a lot with us. Oh, didn't you? Oh. But I did remember to bring this. Oh, Grace, love, it's not one of your delicious jams, is it? <laughs> oh, I do hope it's jams. And... Oh, I am glad. I didn't know whether you liked it or not. Can't get enough of it. <laughs> Put that with all the others, dear. And I brought you some eggs, fresh from the farm, not like the eggs you get in London. Oh, thank you, dear. I'll take them, Mum. Yes, and put the kettle on while you're no, there, will you? No, we won't bother with the tea. We'll have a drink instead. After oh, you, yeah. Mummy. Yeah. Uh, get fell in, Lucy. After all, it is 17.30 hours, sir. Time for tiffin. What? 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 Yes. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> June, darling, we were sorry to let you down about the turkey oh. this year. But we became so attached to Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. That's what I say <laughs> to her, you know. And when the time came, we just didn't have the heart well, one can't, can one? It would be like eating an old friend. And so there she was, chattering away. How could anyone think of wringing her neck? I'm sure the Colonel often has. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing, dear. I was at the Grace Love. I was just wondering what you'd like to drink. A gin, whiskey, vodka, martini, sherry, brandy? Oh, that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you always had those curtains. I don't remember seeing them before. Well, we've, we've had, had new curtains. Do shut up, yes, Grace, yes. and listen. Uh, thank you, sir. Permission to carry on, sir? Come on, Grace. What are you drinking? Oh, I don't know. What have you got? Oh. 
Give her a large sherry. That'll keep her quiet. One large sherry. Same for you, Lucy. Uh, no, thank you, dear. Hey? <laughs> I'd rather have two small ones. <laughs> <laughs> I might have known. <laughs> what about you, June? Yes, sherry for me too, please. Oh, fine. Oh, June, don't sit there, please. No, no, the Colonel must have my chair. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. And a couple of uh, stiff whiskies for the men, eh, Colonel? Yeah, good idea. How are the fat stock prices, eh? Don't talk about those. Wanted to get a few more shorthorns the other day, but I just won't pay the damn silly prices they're asking. It's daylight robbery. Mm. Got you by the shorthorns, have they? <laughs> Is there something funny? And one of your father's witticisms, dear. Oh. Come on. Ah, then we haven't missed anything. Come on, girls, come on. Don't look about. Okay. Hand these drinks round, will you? Right. Huh? Thank you. Can we get one, then? Oh, give me a chance. What do you want? Oh, um, can I have a sherry cobbler? How <laughs> <laughs> dare you in front of your grandparents? <laughs> Daddy. Well, one of your trendy drinks, is it? Oh, it's nothing special. Well, what is it? Well, it's only sherry, liqueur, brandy, orange juice, a dash of port, soda water and a sprig of mint. Mm. Here's a sherry if you can forget your cobblers. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie? I just have brandy juice, thanks, Dad. Oh, yeah, that figures. It's red. Mm. Aren't the girls looking well, Charles? Yes, we've got a couple of very pretty granddaughters. Yes, indeed. They definitely take after their mother. Uh, oh, I don't know. There's a lot of terry in them. Well, nobody's perfect. Well, here's your debit, and here's your drink, Colonel. I do wish you wouldn't keep calling me Colonel. The war finished 30 years ago. <laughs> uh, well, isn't this delightful? <laughs> June, dear, you're dusting. <laughs> well, isn't this nice? All the family together. And I feel I should choose this moment to say a few chosen words to dear Grace and Charles, <laughs> and June's lovely parents, and I would like to think of them as my mummy and daddy, too. <laughs> <laughs> At this time of the year, when people all over the world are gathering together, I would like to take this opportunity to wish you all, each and every one of you, a very Merry Christmas. Are you going to Sandringham tomorrow, dear? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea of mine, darling. I mean, it's bound to be more comfortable than sleeping on the floor. I can't why you didn't blow it up first. <laughs> I couldn't find those little bellows we used to have. Oh, I'm flogging myself to death here. I know. I've got more air in me than I'm in this trip in here. I wonder if there's a pin handy. <laughs> what do you have to get out of bed for, anyway? Well, I was just going to go and... Look. Oh, oh, girl! I was just going to see if I could find an old bicycle pump anywhere. Oh, that's no use. Get back to bed, for heaven's sake. I can't think why your parents had to have our bed in the first place. Oh, darling, how can you say that? Say your mummy and daddy do remember. <laughs> I'll go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I'm sorry, I got the wind. <laughs> well, put it in the lilo. <laughs> oh, uh, where, where's the stopper? Well, the last time I saw it, it was in the hole. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. I haven't swallowed it, have I? What's that? Oh, dear. Cook, what idiot put it right over here? Guess who? Oh, dear. Uh, let's bug it in carefully. That's it. Right, Charlie. Oh. Darling, what? I was thinking, wouldn't you be better off with a sleeping bag? You said there wasn't room, were you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God. Are you comfortable, darling? What do you think? <laughs> I don't suppose I shall sleep at all. Oh, you mustn't stay awake on Christmas Eve. Or well, Santa Claus won't come. Night, darling. And you. Colonel. 
Debbie, how dare you? I won't stand for that. Sit down, Dad. Didn't she look lovely? She always does. I wish we could see more of her on television. I can't think why they don't give her a series. <laughs> don't be silly, Lucy. Why not? They gave one to the Duchess of Duke Street. <laughs> How much brandy did you put in that pudding, June? <laughs> it was a jolly good meal, Mum. Oh, thank you, darling. Well, I suppose I'd better wash this lot up before it's time for tea. No, no, no. No, we know we always have now presents. Present time now. Ooh, Come along. Oh, he's having a kit. Never mind. Everybody around the tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now then, let's dish them out. Now, first of all, there's one for Lucy Love. Oh, thank you, dear. Uh, June, honey. Thank you, darling. And uh, that's Susan. Oh, oh that's that's I don't think this is mine, dear. Uh, oh, no, no, it's for Mummy. Oh, here's one for you, darling. Oh, thank you. Oh, and this is yours, Mummy. Thank you, darling. Uh, who is Lizzie? Uh, no, that's Lucy. Lucy, dear, Lucy, Lucy. Oh, Terry, honestly, your writing's terrible. Yeah, well, I had to do them in a hurry. Uh, this one's for you, yeah. Grandma. That's for me, thank now, you. Whose is this for? There's no writing on this one. No, no, Are you sure, all. darling? It may be just on the paper. But well, hold this for a minute, darling, will you? Right. Uh, no, no, I can't say anything apart from um, angels and bells. I'll, I'll leave it till later. Mm -hmm. Now, there's one for Susan. Terry, yeah? this is yours. Ah, thank you. Oh, I think that's mine, dear. No, no, it's mine, it's mine. Uh, no. Uh, no, not that one. The one with nothing on it. Oh. Oh, I see. There we are, then. Uh, no, dear. It's not mine. It's yours. It's oh, free to you. Oh, oh, dear. I've got to put the name on, but I recognise the paper. Right, there we are, then. Oh, see, yeah. that's yours, oh, June. And, you. and, and whose are these? They're yours, darling. Oh, yeah. Thank well, you. It's a good job you don't work at Mount Pleasant. <laughs> Come along, Charles. Wake up. We're all opening our presents, Grandpa. Ah, presents. Wrapping time. Just a moment. The Colonel wants to say something, please. Before you open all your parcels, I think I should point out there aren't any from us. Oh. No. Grace and I thought we'd do something a bit different this year, something which will benefit all of us. Oh. Now, you all heard of the uh, new capital transfer tax, which has replaced death duties. Oh, Colonel, don't talk like that, please. We hope to have you with us for many years to come. Yeah, so do I, my boy. Oh. Because until that time comes, I'm able to save some of that tax by making money over in the form of gifts every year to me dear family. Every year? Every year? What, what a jolly good idea, Colonel. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all do something sensible with it. June, my dear. Oh, thank you, Daddy. And Lucy. Oh, thank you, Charles. Susan. Oh. And Debbie. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Not as much fun as ancient castles, but it might come in handy in these hard times. <laughs> Charles. Hmm. Good heavens. We've forgotten Terry. Oh, oh, yes. Sir, we have. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Look, old man, we felt you'd be insulted if we offered you money. Oh, no. No, not a bit. <laughs> After all, a man in your position doesn't... Oh, he does. Uh, I mean, I do. I mean, <laughs> feel free to insult me any time now, if you like. No, we thought you'd prefer something useful. Oh, it would have been very useful. But... So here's a little something for a rainy day. <laughs> oh. Oh, you shouldn't have. You, you, you definitely shouldn't have. It's, it's uh... Lovely. Yes, it's lovely, isn't it, June? Yes. Mm. Oh, don't do that, dear. You'll have bad luck. Bad luck? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've already got it. <laughs> oh, Daddy! Daddy! Arguing. I am not arguing. There isn't anything to argue about. Good. 
Then would you mind lowering your voice? There, is that better? Yes. You see? There's no need to lose your temper. I am not losing my temper. I'm just very annoyed, that's all. I don't know how you could do it. At least not without asking me first. You know, sometimes, June, you, 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 do you know, you, you can be selfish, thoughtless, inconsiderate, and, and just damn plain obstinate. And a very Merry Christmas to you too, darling. <laughs> June, if you wanted me to have a Merry Christmas, you wouldn't have invited your parents to come and stay with us. <laughs> Look, it's only for a few days. I don't know why you're so upset. Because it's Christmas, June, a time of peace and goodwill to all. <laughs> Except them parents of yours. <laughs> Could I have a drink, please? Why? Why? Why should I spend Christmas with people I don't particularly want? My mother and father are not people. No, no, they're not. They're monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Frankenstein don't and... Don't you dare say anything about Mummy. That's it, the Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> I knew she reminded me of something. How can you keep on insulting my parents? They've always been very good to us. Why don't you like them? I never said I didn't like them. Oh. I ne never, never, no, I never said I didn't like them. Oh. It's just that, well, how can I put it? I, I can't stand the sight of them. <laughs> I mean, you'll have to put them off. Well, I can't do that. They've already said yes. Well, make up some excuse. I mean, tell them Lucy's had an accident. She hasn't. Well, there's still time. <laughs> I mean, tell them she's, she's getting over a bad case of sherry. <laughs> oh, look, Terry. They're my mother and father, and I happen to love them very much. And after all, I mean, you never know. They, they are getting on a bit, and they, well, they may not be with us next Christmas. They're not going to be with us this Christmas, are they? Please, no, 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 please, no, no, no. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's change the subject. Any more cards? Yes, these came today. Hmm? Good one. Who the hell's Angela Haywood? Yes, I wondered that myself. Well, isn't she one of your friends? No, no, no. That one was addressed to you. But um, somebody's opened it. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. But I did write opened 